What's up, YouTube? It's Matt Morozik, aka MVM397, with uh, one of a couple of unboxings boxings tonight. So um, I finally ordered this one from our good friend Michael Fichtemeyer at Industrial Mechanica, and uh, this one I've been looking at for a while, and finally decided to pick it up, and it came in today. So let's see what we got. It is, oh, first of all, he gave me some goodies. I've got a cool, I've got another Industrial Mechanica pin, pin to add to my collection. I think I've got three of these now. That's four, I think. He threw in some decals for me. Thank you, Mike. That was very nice. Different markings. And a couple business cards, which I will do, which I'll be definitely hand out or keep. We got one for the Fitch and Foo Forum website and one for the Industrial Mechanica website. Both very nice. And this is the latest design from Mr. Z Luca or Calamity. Oh, Watchel. I'm not sure if it's Watchel or Watchtel. I'm not sure if you say the T or not, so you have to let me know, Mike, how to pronounce it. Watchel or Watchtel? Um, I'm guessing it's a Watchel. <laughs> It's like a walking uh, tank. So um, I've seen a couple build-ups of this and it looked really good. I think it looked like a nice kit. It's 135th scale and it comes in a really nice cardboard boxes. Most of the Industrial Mechanica kits come in. Um, here's some stats on it. If it was real, give you uh, what it would be in real life. Um, so and then here's contents of the kit. Some resin parts, clear resin parts, pilot figure photo etch. Instructions and wire. Nice box. Nice cover art too. If you, you know, if, you, if, no, if you guys don't know who Z Luca is or Calamity, um, and you and you build Mecca, you should um, stop what you're doing and and, go, and Google Calamity or Z Luca or Briegel or Garbaldi or Bauer. Any of those kits are designs of Z Lucas and they are fantastic. I own every single one of Z Lucas kits and in some case I own two of them so um, again from Industrial Mechanica I like their presentation it's, uh, this instructions are real simple they're usually one sheet maybe two come rolled up and one sheet two sided great great artwork as usual you got some of Z Lucas sketchings there um, even shows you the um, the caster down the bottom here, which is another one of Z Lucas designs. Hover tank, you can get that on Industrial Mechanica also. And uh, some of the instructions here. There's no uh, there's no like part layout as far as what should be in the kit in this piece of paper, unless there's one later on in the kit. So to do a parts check, you'd have to go step by step, but Again, this, the instructions are fairly, fairly clear. Sorry, keep throwing up. I'll have to iron this out to uh, make it more user friendly, but that's no big deal. But uh, again, pretty easy instructions to follow. Take a look there. There's the massive gun, or one of the massive guns. There's two of them, and it does have a it does have an interior, so you can uh, open and close it. And has a seated pilot figure. The legs are real interesting, kind of like a chicken leg design. Or not chicken leg, I should say like a, like a Star Wars uh, walker design. And then we have a bag of parts, bags of parts. So there's one large bag. We get some wire and some rubber tubing. And at the bottom, there's some photo etch. Not too much, just a little enough for some detailing. Nice as usual. And let's check out some of the resin. So right off, loose in here in this big bag, we have the main body, or part of the main body. Nice details. Nice crisp details inside, especially. Looking good. 
and what else we got? Here are the, it's like the two kind of main bodies of the guns. Again, nice casting. I'm not seeing uh, any really noticeable seam lines. This one right there is not too bad. Here's the here's the gate on this piece so that gets sanded flat. Both of those. Again, um, I'm real happy with the the casting on the last few kits I've gotten from Mike. They've been really good. So um, good job on that, Mike. The cast you're using is doing a very good job on delivering uh, well detailed parts. So real good clean casting. There's some tiny bits. I'm not going to open those. And it sets, um, if you look at the Industrial Mechanical website and look at, um, I, don't, I don't think Mike's done a build up of this yet, but there are, there, if you just Google Watch All, you'll see a bunch of build ups of this kit, and there's some really nice build ups. Again, the detail is really nice. This will be a fun to, to dirty up in weather. Again, one of, my, one of the things I don't do or haven't done too often, I think I've done it once or twice. And these kits lend themselves to getting dirty. So, again, I'm just showing you guys the casting and the detail. Minor seam line there, nothing too big. And also, if you guys aren't subscribed to uh, the Tested channel on YouTube, it's Adam Savage and a couple of other guys. So, Adam Savage from uh, uh, Mythbusters. Um, whose background is in movie, he, he worked at ILM for a while, his background's kind of in movie special effects. They did a one hour build up of an Industrial Mechanica kit, um, so check it out, it's really nice, it's fun to watch, and it gives uh, Industrial Mechanica some nice uh, publicity. Again, good clean casting, the, the seam lines are minor, easy cleanups. Just trying to go through this, my battery's about to die, so <laughs> I want to show you guys as much as I can in a short amount of time. I'm not going to show you all the pieces because there's, there's quite a few in this kit um, for the size it's a, good, it's a good part count so just want to show you guys the quality um, again if you guys haven't bought a kit from Mike yet you should try one this is a good kit I mean it's nice and I think it's, it's a very reasonable price I think it's uh, uh, $150 yeah, which I think is really reasonable for a kit this size, the amount of pieces you get, and the quality. So, and it's from Z Luca, who's like one of the best mecha designers out there. He just has a really cool. So many people uh, try to copy, not copy, but emulate his his style. That he's influenced a ton of people. These are some of the leg parts, looking good. Uh, there's some other pieces in here I'm not going to take out of the bag just because I don't want a ton of pieces flying around but you can see those round pieces they're really nice and sharp like this this kind of spring detail let me pull that out so you can see it so the only thing on this there's a little seam line right down the middle there but the sanding sponge that will clean up real easily uh, let's see what else we got here's some bigger pieces pull those out and if I have enough battery, I'll do another unboxing of the my second 160th Sazabi I got from uh, SMS. This is kind of nice. There's some uh, texture molded into the resin right there. So if you get this and you see that, why is it all textured? It's supposed to be there. <laughs> all right, looks like this is, yeah. So this is the part of the cockpit that opens. This will fit in here. Like that, and it'll, it can hinge up like so. That yeah. very nice. So you can have it open, closed, or do both. Let's see. Uh, let's get down to the last bag here. Show you some more parts that look impressive. Here's the gun barrels. Guns are pretty good size. I was uh, bigger than I anticipated. Here's a barrel right here. Let's see if it focuses and. On that guy, there is no seam line, so my guess is that they, um, well, this is a two part mold on that. It has to be a two part, but I don't see a seam, so good job on that. <laughs> don't know how they pulled that one off. So, I don't know, this will fit in here somehow. 
I haven't looked, really looked at the instructions, but the guns are a good, good size, probably six, seven, eight inches long. Yeah, let's see what else we got in here. Some more like kind of engine mechanical detail parts. If you look real close, you can see some really nice uh, hex nuts down in the bottom there. Really sharply detailed, sharply casted. The rivets are sharp. Uh, where's the little guy? There's the little guy. Let's check him out. Oh, interesting. He's in one piece. So usually they come in separate pieces. It'll be like a, a head, two arms, and two legs, but they mold them in one piece. And he looks pretty good. You know, I'm not a figure guy, but there's a Z on the back. <laughs> or Z Luca, I'm, I'm assuming. But he looks good. So let's see what else we got. Some more engine parts, some exhausts. Or uh, not ex yeah, exhaust pipes. There, exhaust stacks. A lot of these pieces I don't know where they go to because I haven't. This is the first time I'm opening this and I haven't examined the instructions. Uh, let's see what else I can show you that maybe show off the quality of this kit. As I said in some of my other unboxings, you can really tell uh, casting quality by round parts. As far as seams, like there's a pretty decent, good, there's a pretty good seam on this piece right there. And the amount of flash, not a whole lot of flash, but it's got a pretty good seam on it. That'll take a little sanding to get rid of, no big deal. And for those of you who do not build resin and are strictly a Bandai kit person, uh, don't buy a resin kit and expect it to go together super quick. There is, it takes a lot more patience to work with resin, um, especially on the smaller run kits. Um, you're, if you buy from Mike, you're real lucky because the quality is really good. Um, I've had some resin kits, especially from like companies like E2046, where I've gotten the kit and I've literally thrown it away. It was so bad. It wasn't even worth the time to send it back or to, to work on it. The, the molding was so bad. This, the, These two pieces right here are the worst I've seen so far as far as uh, seam lines. So, but that's it. That's pretty, I'm not too concerned about it. Um, let's see. So that's really it for this kit. I mean, um, until I go through and look at the instructions, I really don't know how this goes together. Um, but I love, I mean, the instructions are so cool. They're worth framing, you know? I mean, they really are. They're very well done. Um, I'm not sure how Mike's doing these. These are like computer renderings that he's using or what, but uh, nice. And then you get to see some of, uh, some more of Z Luca's work. So that's cool. Those are actually like it's like a duplicate transparency, so it's like kind of top secret. Gives you that top secret feel, it's like you're looking at something you shouldn't. Uh, just a really cool presentation. I love the the stamp up here that they use for Calamity.com. So go check out Calamity.com. There's Z Lucas. He goes by Z Luca, but it's, um, there's his name, Luca. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Zampriolos. Zampriolos, <laughs> I think that's how you say it. He's Italian, or he lives in Italy. Um, so there you go. There's the Watchol or Watchtol. Not sure how you say it, but it's a good size kit. I'm impressed. Um, I think it's about eight inches tall when it's done. Um, doesn't give you how many pieces are in here. It just says resin parts. But if you go to the website, I think it tells you how many pieces are in here. Uh, as usual, nice presentation. Packaging is real good. I'll get this put back together so I don't break anything. So that's it for the Watchel unboxing. I got some nice free decals, which is always a nice bonus. And uh, again, check out uh, Industrial Mechanica. Check out Michael uh, Fitchemeyer. Um, nice guy. He's always been uh, very helpful to me if I had a question about anything. And uh, um, he's uh, one, one thing I like about Mike a lot is that um, he gives you his honest opinion about anything you ask. If you, yeah, hey, look at my kit. What do you think about it? He'll give you his honest opinion. He's not going to fluff it up and tell you it's fantastic if it's not. He's going to give you some nice constructive criticism. So um, he uh, has been around for a while. He's a very talented guy, very talented builder and modeler. So um, I take any advice from him and I store it in my brain for further use just because uh, he's been doing this a lot longer than I have and he's a, a great builder. So anyway, last again, check out Industrial Mechanic. I'll put a link down below. Check out uh, Z Luca. I'll put a link to uh, Calamity. Now, his website, Calamity, 
isn't very active anymore because um, he just really hasn't been designing any new kits. He designed the caster, which is that hover tank, um, which I think is only sold through Industrial Mechanica. He has a link on his website to Industrial Mechanica to buy it. And then this guy right here, the Watchel. Um, that's not, the Watchel is not on Zeluca's website, um, but it's only on Industrial Mechanica. So uh, if you want to get one of these, I highly recommend it just for the quality and the amount of pieces you get. And the price is really good for, for what you're getting here. So uh, I know a lot of people complain about the price of resin, but you're getting a pretty much a limited edition kit. They can only make so many of these per uh, casting. Uh, if the mold is really good and they take their time, they can get about 50 castings per mold. So after 50, they have to make new molds, which is very expensive, very time consuming. And that's one reason that the resin kits are more expensive. And you're, you know, you're, you're paying some guy, you're paying for the art, the artistry and the time it takes to actually hand sculpt this design, um, and build it. If you look at the, uh, uh, if you go to somewhere, I don't know if it's on Industrial Mechanica, but, uh, there are some work in progress pics that shows, uh, the steps that Z Luca, Z Luca took to design and build this kit. And you can see it's some kit bashing that he's done and a lot of scratch building that he's done. So that's what you're paying for. Um, you're not paying for um, a company to mass produce these things at a, you know 10,000 at a time. So of course the price has to be a little bit higher to to make it worth their time and effort um, and hopefully um, <laughs> turn a profit. So anyway, there you go. Um, I'll try to do the next unboxing. If my battery dies, um, I'll have to do it tomorrow, but I'll start it and see where I get. Again, Matt Morozik, AKA MVM397, signing off. Wait for the next one.